so that might take the edge off a little bit. That was a full hour, 45 minutes ago, so he should have enough to be able to take a run at that record. Keep your eye on the middle of the pool. Lane 5, Shane Casas of A&M. Hey, How about Lasco, the, the, the guy at freshman who went his PB by 5 seconds to get in there, 140.6. He's got four really good strokes. He could be a factor. And Carson Foster up there in six. Although he may be a little stronger in the 400 iron, he's a good 200 iron as well. Danny Kovac in Missouri in lane number one, going out strong on the fly. Yeah, Kovac was 26 back in 19. Now here's him in the final. There goes Casas in that great backstroke. You've got to figure that he's going to have a great back. And he was only 25-2. I say only. 25-2. He's capable of going a lot faster on the backstroke. Roscoe was the fastest at 24-8. There goes Casas at 24-8. And Carson Foster right there, 24-5. He had a nice split there. And he's also got a great breaststroke. And Gonzalez... And lane number three has a great breaststroke as well. He had a better breast than anybody in the field. The top time in history, 138.13. The second best time, 138.14. That was Dressel and Celestock. Casas' best time, the third fastest ever, 138.95. Looks like he's going for the win. He's not going to get the record. Dressel's record will remain safe, and now it's all of us. Oh, really, the story is, can Casas hang on with that great freestyle? You know, he's got a good freestyle. 130 point on the 800 free relay. Shane Casas of Texas a and in lane number six. Below him, Lasco and Gonzalez of Cal. Just above him, Foster of Texas. The race for second between the two Cal Bears, and it's Gonzalez that has it. Shane Casas, the winner, 139.53. That's six-tenths slower than... His time back in November. Really, overall, though, the heat was slower. He had Casas, the only guy to break 140. And at the halfway point, that's where he kind of made his move on the backstroke. That great split that he had in the back, 24 plus on the back. Foster right there. He had a great, great split as well. Right above Casas to get in there. He ended up getting fourth at the end. Couldn't quite hang on on the freestyle, but again, how about Cal? Talking about Cal Swimmers team title. They finished second and third. Gonzalez, 139.99. I said Casas was the only under 140. Nope. Gonzalez got on with the best time. Mosco and Gonzalez both go best times there. And here's the finish. There are the two bears right there, but this was all about Shane Casas. Didn't get the record but got the win, and that's the big thing here at the NCAA Championships. Getting your hand on the wall first. The junior Shane Casas, an NCAA champion for the first time. Destin